In this illustration, we'll analyze a block toppling over a ridge. We are given that a cubical block of mass m moving at velocity u on a smooth ground and it hits a ridge o on ground. We are required to find minimum speed u of the block for which it will topple over the ridge. Now, in this situation, we can see Due to the momentum in the block, when it hits the ridge, it starts rotating about the ridge. Say if this is the ridge O. When the block strikes this ridge, it has a momentum in forward direction due to which it starts rotating about the ridge and it may topple over here. And it will topple only if its center of mass will cross this vertical line like this. So, if its center of mass will cross over this line, then it will topple, otherwise it will fall back. So, in the situation, first we can calculate the angular speed with which it starts uh, rotating about the ridge. Here we can write uh, at the point of hitting. We use Conservation of angular momentum as here we can write m u multiplied by a by 2 was the initial uh, angular momentum of uh, the block uh, about this ridge, and uh, after collision, this uh, starts rotating about point O. So, its moment of inertia we can write for uh, a cubical block about a diagonal, its moment of inertia we can write as 2 by 3 ma square multiplied by the angular speed omega. So, this giving us the value of angular speed just after collision that is 3u by 4a. And we can write for toppling. Over the ridge, the omega is such that central mass of block crosses over the ridge so that the weight of gravity will support and toppling and then it will fall over the ridge. So, here we can write uh, thus by work energy theorem, we use here the initial kinetic energy of uh, this block when it has started rotation is uh, half, its i is 2 by 3 ma square multiplied by omega square is 3u by 4a whole square minus the rise in center of mass. We can see initially its center of mass was at a height a by 2, and in this final situation, its center of mass is at a height a by root 2. So, the work done against gravity is mg multiplied by a by root 2 minus a by 2 should be greater than or equal to 0. Here m gets cancelled out, here a square also gets cancelled out and simplifying this relation, here we can see we'll be getting this 2 we can also cancel out. So, this will give us the value 3 u square by 16 should be greater than or equals to the g a multiplied by root 2 minus 1 divided by 2 and this giving us the value of u should be greater than or equals to root of 8 g a by 3 multiplied by root 2 minus 1 that is the result of this problem.